we're going to be working with the SA SB1B1. As you can see, we have this soundbar right here, which is the 900 and the 950. They both have the same mounting. The reason why you choose this bracket is because it has these little brackets in there. What you do is you slip it on here like that. We're going to put in a screw and a washer. So put one on this side and put one on that side. We're going to screw those on, leave it so those two silvers are out. After we do so, if you come over here, you need to mount this bar on the back. If you're like me and you have the power in the way, you'll have to space out the bracket and flip it over. Otherwise, this should be the other way around. So that way the bolt doesn't go in. I'm only doing it this way because of the fact that I needed it to uh, hold the spacer underneath. Otherwise, it would just slip into the trough right here. Now that we have this one right here, I space this out, make sure it's equal distance, otherwise you'll have a natural tilt, especially if you don't have a tilting bracket to accommodate. What'll happen is if you have a flat mount and you have different spacing, you'll end up having a negative tilt or a positive tilt, which you don't want if you're using a flat mount. With this one, with a tilt mount, this will work perfectly fine because I can, any little difference I have, yeah. Either way, we've got that going on. Note the pull string is right here because we're gonna have to pull that to put these pieces in and then those pieces would be these ones. I just need to see which way they go. They should face flat out and as you can see you would want it so you go like this. They won't just slide in though. What you need to do is take the Phillips screw off the tip, line it up right here like so and then press it slide in. After you do that that's in here right here do the same thing to this side, line it up, and then, oops, sorry, right there, press and slide in. And you have to keep pressing, it won't just slide. Hard to do with the camera in my hand, but there you go. Now that we have this lined up, let's get these screws in here first. Then we have to line these two silver pieces up with right here and right here. First, put these in. Take a look here, smallest M4s from the package, and then uh, the washers. Take out those silver screws with washer. Slide it right here, so it's like this. See how it's lined up? You see the small ones in here? This is where your screw's gonna go. Same here. Go ahead, put the screw and washer in here. Don't toy tighten it yet. Same with there. Then we're gonna center it and lift it. As you can see, we're right here. These are now in. But now what I would do is, you'll see, I uh, can't really show you with the camera, but the screw is still got a space from the sound bar. I would probably loosen this, lift it up so it's touching the screw and tighten it up. Yes, it could mark the sound bar up a bit, but it'll give you less leverage on the front, so less chance of it bending down. As you can see much closer now, from here, pull the string like this, or from the center, doesn't matter. Just make sure they're both pulled in and slide up and push it right up to the back of the TV. That tag should line up with the center sensor right there. Once you've pulled and slid it up, take your Phillips from right here and put them back in the head cap so you have your safeties back in, no chance of it sliding, and then put your wall mount back on the wall. See how it looks. There you go. That's what it'll look like.